so yeah so now i'm going to show a video tutorial on ultrasonic pulse testing of concrete so the major objective of this uh, test is to determine the quality and dynamic modulus of elasticity of concrete specimen uh, using ultrasonic pulse velocity method as per is 516 1959 the apparatus we are going to use is uh, transmitting transducer here electronic uh, timing device so device used to show the time okay and uh, we have a calibration bar carbon random stone grease so yes the basic principle here uh, is uh, the ultrasonic pulse is being generated by a uh, transducer here so this transducer transducer is going to generate a ultrasonic pulse and uh, the pulse uh, the you know series of waves is going to travel from uh, the transmitting transducer from this end to this end so the waves uh, can be either uh, longitudinal waves shear waves or uh, surface waves or we can say rayleigh waves so so the velocity uh, finally we are going to find the velocity from the velocity we are going to determine the quality of the concrete whether it is a poor or whether it is a good okay so poor or good good in terms of uh, density uh, homogeneity or uniformity okay if your value that is the final velocity value is very higher then we can say it is so good so while well, final velocity is uh, very uh, low then we can say the concrete quality is very poor okay so we will start the experiment so yeah once you start the experiment uh, the step one is to add the electronic timing device so you please click here add so next uh, yes next electronic uh, device is been shown here so next step is to apply the grease and the calibrate the bar okay so the given uh, concrete specimen is placed here and we are going to click the electronic timing device so please enter this so we will get a value around like uh, time uh, 25.4 mu second so in this experiment we are going to measure the timing okay so electronic timing device means you are going to measure the time okay time required to travel the uh, from this end to this end so i have told you earlier that the pulse that is series of waves is going to travel from the transmitter to receiver so this uh, you know the travel time so it is been measured in the electronic timing device that is uh, we got uh, around 25.4 mu second mu is nothing but 10 power minus 6 so yeah so once you done that you can click the button stop and uh, you click here so next we are going to uh, select the moisture condition of the concrete so the given concrete uh, you choose either wet or dry so i am going to choose dry specimen okay so select the type of transducer arrangement so we have three types of transducer arrangement it is direct semi direct and indirect so direct or semi direct or indirect i am going to choose direct for the demo so please submit once you choose and everything so please click here so now you are going to mark the points where you are going to uh, test okay so in general we are going to test at this end okay so please add and uh, you will have the marker here so please click the marker and you are going to place you know a dot or you know the mark a point a and b okay so we are going to take a trial okay on a point and b point okay which is chosen here and you are going to measure the width of the space width of the specimen okay width of the specimen from this point to this point because we are going to place the transducer okay uh, in the both the places at a and b okay so for that purpose we are going to measure the width okay so please note down 0.302 and 0.295 meter just click the next button and uh, once you done that you please add the button uh, click the add button so so we are going to uh, click the carbon atom stone to remove the plaster and then we are going to click add again now we are going to place the grease top of the marked area that is marked points ok next we are going to uh, see uh, we are going to uh, measure the time ok so the click the timing device to place the transducer on the point A marked on the wall. So please click this 
and it will automatically go there and uh, please click this and please enter button click the enter button and you will have you will find out the value that uh, 20 that is uh, so once you find out that uh, value that is time you please measure I mean, click the show button and uh, it will be displayed here so 107.3 and path length is 0 0.302 millimeter and the overall velocity velocity is nothing but distance by time so we have measured the distance and the time so time i mean distance by time nothing but 2.82 so again please click the bottom that is arrow button now we're going to measure the point b okay on the specimen similar procedure there is no uh, change so please enter and uh, the value will be displayed here and please stop the button. then click the arrow button again we measure in the table okay show velocity then you will you have find out for mark a mark sorry point a and point b so finally i'm getting the average time as average velocity sorry velocity as 2.80 okay kilometer per second okay so yes average velocity as 2.80 kilometer per second so once you done that finally we are going to uh, uh, arrive uh, you know uh, data okay uh, now we can find the dynamic modulus of elasticity that is e uh, which is having a formula like mu into 1 plus uh, nu 1 minus 2 mu uh, v square divided by 1 minus mu so mu is nothing but the poisson ratio uh, we already know the poisson ratio of concrete is 0.24 uh, and the density that is rho uh, density of concrete so already we know the density of concrete is nothing but 2400 uh, zero, zero, that is 2400 kg per meter cube so yeah so please click the show button and uh, whatever the values you have uh, find out it will be displayed here so here they have not mentioned the quality of the concrete but as per is 456 they have mentioned some uh, you know quality uh, they are given a table so if the values around uh, below 3 3 km per second the quality of the concrete is doubtful so here we are getting the value 2.80 as per is 516 so the value i mean the concrete quality is doubtful okay it means that it is so poor okay so uh, from this formula we can find the dynamic modulus which is given here okay so i hope it is clear so we just click next yeah so moisture for finally we are going to generate a report so click show button and yeah so once you've done this and the experiment is over and we can restart and we can redo with different options like we can choose either uh, wet in the moisture condition we can choose any type of test it is a i have chosen direct transmission you can choose semi-direct or indirect okay similarly similar procedure thank you so much